you. All right, we're going to take a drive over to the mountain. I'm Randy Jones with Incredible Tiny Homes, and there's a there's Carlos. Looks like he's a street person, doesn't he? <laughs> Pushing a shopping cart. <laughs> All right, we're going over to the mountain. We're leaving. Uh, you show up here, Tom. See all of our homes. This is our sales lot. We have got so many beautiful models here. Come and see us. We want you to come and see us. We've got incredible boxes, 16s, 20s, probably five or six different model homes that are ready to be viewed. Eight foot wide, 10 foot wide, 20 foot long, 24. Of course, here's a prairie. So just down the street, I'm coming out of the, uh, I call it tiny town, and approximately what? I mean, there's the end of Tiny Town, and here's the beginning of the mountain right here. But our entrance is a little bit further down. So this video is to give you an update of what we have going on in the mountain. I know there's 85 lots, 85 people coming, and we're going to show you a little bit about the progress of the mountain. We just did a video on the Grove. Now, the mountain is a whole other world, but it is going to be... Hey, I'm going to use a big word, Tom. It's Wednesday. It's exquisite. I don't even know what that means. Let's see here. All right, I want to come up here and show you the manholes that we're putting in, which means that's the sewer, and it's the primary sewer part. Now it's a muddy mess. Yep, there's one home there. Grand Strong. Yep, that was done for a video we did. I'm gonna go ahead and just go in this mud. All right, I know. Street that goes up. Oh, look at that. They've got manholes up here, and as you can see, we've positioned the manholes where they're going to go in the ground. Just want to let you know we've got 40 plus manholes on these 85 lots. Look at that view. Oh, it's hard to see with a pile of brush, but that is gorgeous. Coming. And we've spent over a hundred thousand dollars just in these manholes right here. Yep, there's a lot there, there's a lot here. Of course, I've shown you guys multiple um, videos of this, but showing these manholes is just showing you guys the progress, and that's what I wanted to show you. You know, you all have invested in us, and I have a responsibility to let you know how we're doing and where we're at on this. I think with all the machinery that'll be here and working and we're getting these manholes in right now, I'm hoping in the next three months we're going to have people living here three to four months all right so let's see if we got one in the ground yeah so we're staging them I mean, this is what we were waiting for that's right here infrastructure infrastructure man roads yeah. are in that there you can see they're digging so I think I'm gonna go up this route I may have to put four-wheel drive in but look, Tom, it is like we were over there in the grove and it was sloppy and slimy. Yeah, we'll probably have to go full wheel drive on here. But it's not as bad. Wow, no problem. No four wheel drive needed. No four wheel drive. And it is. Man, there's you know even there's hardly any tire tracks in here. <laughs> look at that. That's awesome. There's a little road up to the left. This is winter time and it's still beautiful in here. Yeah, and we're going uphill, everybody. There's a little lot site here on the left, our manholes. I know I'll go ahead and probably just go ahead and put in our four wheel drive here. Here's another site, another site here, as you guys can see. So this is really an update to show you, look at all the manholes we got going on here. And so each one will be put in the ground and then each one will have will be connecting with an eight inch sewer line. I don't think we're gonna go up this one. I think you can. No, maybe not. <laughs> All right. Let me back up. I'm gonna put it in four wheel drive. You have to lock them in? Yeah. You put it right here in this flat spot. All right, let's see what we got. Show them what you're doing, Tom. Mine's locked in. And then we'll take my little cup holder out of here and show them, show them what we're doing. So I got a custom-made cup holder. Take that out. 
push this down all the way back. I'm gonna go in four low. Oh, brake on. Let's go. Looks like it's a tank. Yeah, Tom said get rid of that junky oh, I truck. I said make it a farm truck. <laughs> right? Tom I hates this truck. Rid of it too, a couple times. Here we go. I love Look at the snow. I'm telling you what. We have we have spent the money on these roads. But look at the machinery, the freezing, the thawing, and you don't even see tire tracks up here from the machinery. No, it's solid. It is solid road. And and what you know, I don't know if you guys know a lot about developing, and that's why I try to bring you out here. Well, if we put a manhole in the middle of this road, then we gotta dig a ditch in the middle of this road to the next manhole. Alright? So that's gonna be a 48 inch deep ditch at least maybe sometimes six foot and then we've got to backfill it what is this a big hole we got here <laughs> I think it is a big hole oh oh, oh it's in oh, there you go perfect this is yeah. what I wanted to show right here so let's go see what's going on yeah here we go perfect you guys are working and this is what happens right here so on this hard, hard ground, man. So this is the manhole, and we cut what's called an invert, which is the bottom of that hole. In the bottom of the manhole, there's an eight inch hole in there with a rubber boot. And what we'll do is we'll dig from this manhole to the next manhole and connect it with an eight inch sewer line. So there's a lot right up here. And I'm gonna tell you, this is a gorgeous lot, which I love all the lots here. There's not a there's not a lot here that I don't like. But that house up there, the sewer will come down this driveway, dump in to this sewer line, and then head down to the next manhole. Yeah, and look, oh, that's hard to see on the video, but that's what that lot's going to be looking at. Is that not gorgeous? Yeah, it's hard to see on the video. I can't even, words can't, or the video can't show. Yeah, it. I know it's it. Amazing. Yep. Can you zoom in a little bit? I tried. Yeah. So let's go down here and I'm going to show you the next manhole they're putting in. So it's a straight line from manhole to manhole, a straight ditch. And then when they get there, that manhole, they, they got an invert, two holes going out. So that manhole was positioned and built just for that corner because the outgoing hole of that manhole is at a certain degree angle just for that location. It's really simple, but actually putting in all of the pipe at a certain elevation and making sure it's flat and it goes downhill at the same time. Yeah, right. Yeah, because if he goes too deep, you'll miss the manhole. You go too, it's got to be dead on when it comes in here. Hey, Jesse, how do you... All right, so you got a you got an inlet right there. How do you know how deep to dig that ditch from there to here, and hit it dead on when you come in there? And it's on <laughs> exactly. Yeah. How does that happen? Yump gives us Yump. measurements. Yump. They've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it happens. Is that how it happens? As you can see, it ain't easy, man. So that hole there could be six foot deep. That one up there is probably four and a half foot deep it's got it's got to be dead on as it comes down here and hits it so if we shoot an elevation from the bottom of that pipe to here and we shoot an elevation from the bottom of the pipe to the top of that ground and then what we can do is we can divide that up into sections and we know how deep we should be by the time we get here but that's if the land and that road is on an even slope to this manhole here so Making sure all this hits, as you guys can see, can be tricky. For this one goes in, and then this one is gonna go out. I can see the outlet Yep, right here. it's gonna go out to the next manhole would be at the bottom of the street. Yep. Yeah, now think about it. So these lots here have to dump into this. Look up, look how dark. Now look at this, I'm gonna show you guys. See that rock right there, Tom? Oh, yeah. That is nothing but pure rock. They've had to take a hammer 
and chisel the rock out to put the manhole in. This whole side of this mountain was rock and they had to chisel it out, which is god awful money that you don't know you're getting until you dig in. Look, that rock doesn't start till about three foot down. So that rock had to be chiseled. Now we're gonna dig a ditch. Tom, we're gonna dig it from here to there yeah. and we gotta go through rock. So, as you can see, this is just an example of what can cause a delay in getting a project done. Now, we think this is the only rock that we'll hit that we've been digging all over this mountain, just from there to there. Normally, when you go up and up on your elevation in mountains, you'll get more rock as you go higher in elevation. It's not always the, the, you know, the same, but that's normally what can happen. So, we got to dig a ditch in here, three foot of topsoil or dirt, and then we'll hit rock and we got to take a hammer and it's actually like a hammer on the back of a track go and they just start chipping away. I hope there's only a vein of rock maybe right here and we'll dig but you never know. So while they're hammering this we'll have another track go digging a ditch from this one to that one and that one to that one and now we're going to get other track goes in here digging the other lines. Now think of a house right here Tom. Look at that view. We, you know what? You thought that view was good, right? Up on the top. Look at this one. That's what I'm saying about the views on here, man. Look at this, Tom. Come right over here, buddy. So there's going to be a tiny home right here, right? Now, the sewer has to run downhill. So this sewer will be, will be a ditch here. And it'll go out the driveway and then it's got to dig into the existing sewer line and we'll put in a t right there a y and it'll go right into that and flow on down to the next manhole but yeah go ahead and take a gander of that tom you can walk on that point and you can see that other mountain range over there Is that not something Yeah, and see, so this lot has this sleeping view. It's actually a hole in the tree line. Yeah. And people would say, well, I don't want to live there, right? It's right on the road, or I want to be up higher for a better view. Not necessarily so. Every lot has got a special part to it. So don't think, oh, I want this lot. I want the one that Randy showed me. No, even the lot down here, we're not on, we're not standing on that lot. There's a house right there. And then there's another house over by that manhole. Yep. And where that snow and that snow, there's two more lots over there. Right. Right? And you're going to say, well, I don't want to be that close, or I want to be up above. Don't think that way. You won't even see that house. You won't there. see it. And, and if you do, up. it'll look nice. If you look up here. Yes. Yeah, that is nothing but gorgeous. Yeah, so there you have it. This is the mountain. Progress on the mountain. Uh, what we're doing. As you can see, the Grove is going full time. We're blasting that. We're putting it in over here too. Yeah, so we got two companies out here. Right? Two companies, two rolling. Tons of money going on right here, but we're gonna make it happen. So I hope this mountain is done in four to six months. I hope this is full of houses. We are doing all we can to get this going, and we're also planning our next opening division of the mountain. And we'll let you know more about that and take your, yeah, yeah put that on your bread and eat it. He <laughs> toast. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'm Randy Jones. This is Tom at Incredible Tiny Homes, 850 Industrial Road, Newport, Tennessee. Subscribe, thumbs up, notification button. That way you guys know when we're coming on. All right. See you later.